I've had the most inspiring morning with the Anna Freud Centre discussing all things mental health. It is so important that we all talk about our feelings and emotions, the good ones and the more difficult ones too, because we all have them. The theme for this year's Mental Health Week is anxiety, and the Anna Freud Centre has co-created an animation and resource toolkit to help young people understand, normalise and manage the feelings around anxiety. It is a fantastic resource, and one which I'm sure we could all use to help support our mental health. I have fireworks going off in my head. Kate says she feels inspired after visiting Anna Freud Centre to talk to young people about mental health, but warns against over-medicalizing anxieties. The Princess of Wales proved to be a good listener during a visit to the Anna Freud Centre today, where she chatted to young people about their anxieties. Kate, 41, was beaming as she arrived at Anna Freud's London base this morning where she joined a series of roundtable discussions about the mental health challenges facing youngsters today. The Princess of Wales said she believes emotions should not be over-medicalized, particularly among young people, who tend to latch onto labels of any sort. She told officials, In the caveman ages our worlds were quite small, so we were able to deal with that fight-or-flight response by comparison. She suggested that modern society and the effect of social media had a notable effect on mental health and well-being. Instead, she said children should be encouraged to learn mental health skills that will help them not just in school, but in all aspects of their lives. Wearing a 3,000-pound green Susanna tea dress with Alessandra rich two-tone heels and a pair of accessorized earrings costing around eight pounds, the princess spent time at the center with a group of secondary school children who have been taking part in interactive activities that explore how to deal with their own anxious feelings. Anxiety is the theme of the week. The children are in years 7 to 9 at St. Richard's College in Bexhill on C. Sussex, which is part of the charity's Mentally Healthy Schools initiative. They helped design the Anna Freud's Anxiety Toolkit, which was launched today yesterday and will be used at schools across the UK. The princess joined a group at a table to ask them how they dealt with certain situations, using practical activity cards to help formulate their responses. Told that one girl was having trials at a football club, she said, so much in sport is mental as well as the physical skills and abilities. To have these sorts of skills in your toolbox will really help, not just in school but home life and school and other things as well. She asked the children, Do you think lots of young people have got the skills that you have got? How many adults do you know who have these skills? As she chatted about her work on mental health, she added, The more you learn, the more you read, the more interesting a perspective you get it's great to keep up to date. She went on, I've learned a huge amount. And then you go down into fields of philosophy, as well as psychology and neuroscience. The princess noted that there was so much synergy between conversations on all aspects of mental health, and that no individual element could be considered alone. She then joined a roundtable discussion involving sector experts who chatted about how to better support the mental health of future generations. The princess was seated alongside Prof. Peter Fonagy, chief executive of Anna Freud, and a member of the Royal Foundation's Early Childhood Advisory Group. Also on the table was Barbara Tom Chapman, who runs the Lions Barber Collective which trains barbers to speak to clients about mental health well-being. It's knowing how to talk about it. The regulation of emotions and feelings and normalizing it, she said. Prof. Fonagy revealed afterwards that the princess had taken a copy of the anxiety toolkit with her. She took a copy away with her because she's in the same position as every other parent, of needing to have the skills and the competencies to cope with an anxious child. A child before an exam, he said. Do we know how to do it? We don't teach it at school. We should teach it at school. But we don't. Anxiety and sadness are not a disease. They are part of life. And we need all need help in coping with anxiety and in coping with sadness. If you medicalize it and we just get psychologists and psychiatrists to deal with those problems of everyday life, you are doing a disservice. What we need is a much broader general approach, a societal change about the challenges of emotion. After the one-hour visit, the princess said she was feeling inspired and excited. She added, I've learned a lot today. I've got all these fireworks going off in my head. In an Instagram reel posted after the engagement, Kate said, I spent an inspiring morning at the Anna Freud Center, discussing all things mental health. Kate swept her hair into her favorite bouncy blowdry style for the engagement and opted for a neutral makeup look. She added a touch of blusher to her cheeks and a sweep of eyeliner across her lids for the occasion. Meanwhile, she kept her jewelry to a minimum, opting for a simple pair of gold earrings. Her choice to wear the Susanna flippy wiggle dress in an emerald green tone, 
comes days after she wore the same dress in white. An online description for the dress details how it is made from pure Italian silk crepe. It continues. The original inspiration derives from a late 1940s wiggle dress which we have recut to have it skim over the bodice with a fluid gentle soft movement throughout the skirt, from the hips to the hemline. The silhouette is contoured around the waist and front yoke with delicate pin tucks. The dress is designed to be an elegant T-length featuring beautiful half-length sleeves with a button cuff. It is also described as the perfect forever dress inside and out, step inside and feel the sublime. At Wimbledon in 2019, Kate looked beautiful in her white crepe button-up flippy wiggle dress. And in 2014, she wore a green and white Susanna T dress for Prince George's first birthday portraits. The Princess of Wales is marking mental Health Awareness Week, with visits to two charities this week. Anna Freud is a charity which uses scientific research to provide young people with the support they need. At a time when they need it, the princess has long been a champion of prioritizing mental well-being, including that of children and young people. She has dedicated her time to supporting various mental health programs, such as the launch of Heads Together, Shout 85258 and the Mentally Healthy Schools program. She is also patron of a number of charities which are focused on promoting and providing mental health support to those in need. In January 2023, the Royal Foundation Center for Early Childhood launched Shaping Us, a long-term campaign spearheaded by the princess. The campaign aims to transform the issue of early childhood from one of scientific interest to one of the most strategically important topics of our time. The campaign also highlights that by focusing our collective time, energy, and resources to build a supportive, nurturing world around all children and those caring for them. We can make a huge difference to the physical and mental health and happiness of generations to come.